Moving on to you, uh, Capricorns. You have the Two of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Fool, the Three of Cups, the uh, Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Five of uh, Swords, the Hierophant, the Six of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Okay, so, all right. So for you Capricorns, right, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Cups, you are now, like I said, dating, okay? You have plenty of options, so you are most definitely dating around. You're trying to figure out who's a very good fit for you, who's not. And the best way for you to do that is to get some experience. Not, not necessarily saying for you to go through the whole nine, but get some form of experience by dating a couple of people, figuring out which person is the best for you. The Fool, right, and the Three of Cups represents because, well, especially the Fool, you really don't have anything to lose. You know, a lot of you Capricorns have been putting in so much work for years, making so many sacrifices, especially when it comes to things that you really want. Things can end up playing out very unfair, so, or very unfairly. So the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles is about how, since that's the case, uh, again, you want to make sure that, that you're okay as it is that you're out here dating, okay? The Three of Cups don't necessarily take something that's just starting too too seriously but at the same time take it seriously enough to actually see where it is that it can go because you don't want to squander your opportunity right immediately just by taking just by thinking that it's so not meant to be taken seriously capricorn to the point where you just say whatever do whatever you don't you know you don't want to do that then you miss out on, on an opportunity to potentially meet someone truly great you know, Capricorn, you don't want to miss that. So just take it with a grain of salt. Take it moderately, right? And the Ten of Pentacles is about also, right, mind your pockets as well. Make sure that when you are out here and you're getting to know people, it's not all about the actual date, right? A lot of these people be taking pictures of the food, trying to make it seem like they can afford to, to, to eat there, stuff like this. And some of the stuff comes from... And, and most of it is actually coming from they they got taken out and they put themselves out there. You know what I mean? And and now they're taking pictures of the food, not the actual person. So the Ten of Pentacles represents just mind your pockets when it comes to dating, okay? Sometimes dating can be expensive, but it should not have to be. The people that want you to make it expensive are the people that you should be staying away from in general. The Hermit now is about how, right? The Hermit and the Five of Swords. You need to also understand when a person is ghosting, you need to understand, uh, you know, you need to understand what it means if people ghost. If you are getting to know the person, you're just not getting to know the person and the person can't even follow through with any, any small commitment, then that in, in on itself lets you know that they're not meant to be trusted because a lot of people are so afraid of commitment and it's stupid because commitment is how it is that you get anything done because whenever it is that you see something through from the beginning to the end and you say no you're going to go ahead with it that's what is that's what commitment is you're committed to getting a particular outcome done so guess what you stick to it so if you telling me that people are so afraid of of commitment to the point where they just don't want any commitments guess what don't commit to put on your clothes when you go outside go outside bare don't commit to to do to having a job quit your job don't commit to watching television just turn off the television break it <laughs> throw it throw it out that but you can't throw it out otherwise that would be commitment because you would be committing to actually getting rid of the tv so I don't know where people have this stupid mentality from, right? And just also the Hermit and the Five of Swords, just watch to see if anyone really is trying to waste your time. If they don't follow through with some of the things that they say they're gonna do as you're dating them, ghosting. They're already itchy, right? They're already itchy about this. Pay attention to, you know, if they don't ever bring their wallet. That's another thing too. When it comes to first dates, 
when it comes to first dates, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if you lose the date. If you lose the date, then you lose the date. Make them go Dutch. There should be nobody coming outside their apartment, home, residence, whatever you want to call it, that is leaving the house without money in their pocket. If you know good and well that you're going to be going to some sort of social event, do not, do not leave the house without your a wallet. Okay? Whenever it is that I leave the house without my wallet, I'm going more than likely to go work out. Right? Other than that, unless I'm more than likely going to go work out or something like this, I don't leave the house without my wallet. I don't care where I'm going. So the, the Hierophant now represents as a result, okay? The Hierophant really... The Hierophant really does is about trust your gut. So it means that if you have to let go of these people because you've seen or noticed certain things about them, then do that. The Six of Cups, because they're going to be back anyway. So if you would have stayed with them and you would have been desperate trying to get a hold of somebody, guess what? They would have played all those games with you. But now considering the fact that you've afforded yourself less games by not just accepting any old nonsense that those people are doing, guess what? It means that you are on a higher bracket, Capricorn, Capricorns, because you're not willing to take their nonsense. So the Two of Cups now represents, right? But also, if you want to take them back, start dating them again, okay. But if, you, if you're dating someone new, apply those same, apply the same thing that I was telling y'all about, right? But also, don't go back to people that you were dating, all right, let's clarify the fool. <clears throat> All right, let's clarify the fool. You have the Ace of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and then last but not least, you have the Seven of Cups. Right, because people can say whatever it is that they want to you, whatever. Tons of people lie. There's a lot of pathological liars out here. People lie for no reason. When People will lie when the truth will do. So just make sure that you pay attention to those details, but also to take it with a grain of salt. Don't be so heavy that you're looking for marriage immediately. And don't tell them that that's what it is that you're looking for, because it's going to sound off. As soon as you meet the person, you're telling them, you know, I'm looking for marriage. Marriage needs to be one of the milestone goals, for sure. Milestone, meaning it's one of the goals that you are seeing on that path if that's what it is that you're looking for is marriage right but then at the same because i'm not looking for that i don't care but then at the same time right at the same time you also want to pay attention to not to not put the cart before the horse okay so let's clarify the six of cups right and another thing else that I, I wanted to say, too, with this is because the Two of Swords and the Seven of Cups represents because if they're if they're being on some some goofy stuff, you still have other people in which you can be getting to know right now. So don't waste your time. If the person just doesn't work with you and they're not a very good fit, then they're just not a very good fit. You know, there's been countless of, of people who I'm dating and I'm glad that we weren't a really good fit because these people are dumb. They're dysfunctional. So to clarify the Six of Cups, you have the Emperor, the Five of Wands, the Star card, and then you have the uh, the Judgment. Yeah, because everything is on your time. You're the one that has multiple uh, options, right? So go ahead and try those options, you know? uh five wands and if people are, are upset about it then who cares you know at the end of the day who cares because the star and the judgment now <clears throat> the star and the judgment right is about how uh just make sure that the person is actually interested in you and that they actually want to be with you right because at the end of the day <clears throat> it's about how it is that you capricorns are spending your life you're not just doing this for your health so that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers. We have 
8,972. Uh, 8, smash the subscribe button, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.